City leaders in Bloomington have a nice issue to deal with. Should they approve a plan to bring more people downtown? Good Friday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. It's been years in the making, and this option brings dozens of new units with millions of dollars in play. Lizzie Stiles has tonight's top story. When developers were surveying this block of downtown Bloomington, they called it blighted. It's mostly an empty lot and a church building no longer in use. The city has been looking for someone to develop the land into living space as more people flock to the city for work. It could be a chance to revitalize downtown. It really helps us support, you know, the you know, the, the the growth of the local economy because, you know, if if people don't have housing, <laughs> Well, then the workers are not coming. The plan is waiting for final approval from the city council, but currently includes 24 two-bedroom townhomes with attached garages and a five-story apartment building. The location is blocks away from the heart of downtown and other amenities like the local library. While this spot has a lot of potential to draw people looking for an urban lifestyle into Bloomington, it also has a lot of history, like this church behind me right here, which was built in 1888. Director Emeritus of the McLean County Museum of History, Greg Coos, says this is the old location of the Coachman Motel, which was demolished in 2008. The City of Refuge purchased the church in 2012 from its original owner, but they quickly outgrew the space. They agreed to sell the building, but it's not clear if they'll demolish the church or not. Coos hopes they find a new purpose for the building instead. That way, the carbon footprint created during construction doesn't go to waste. It's, it's essential to have them repurposed. So when you have a building like this, it has embodied that energy that's still there. And so to replace that means that you've thrown out all that old energy and you're expending new energy. In Bloomington, Lizzie Siles, 25 News.